Yo, what's up, guys? Fire here, back with another video. And today we're going to be bringing you guys a, another offensive scheme in Madden 22. Today we're going to be going over the Gun Trey White Flex once again, kind of going over some of the schemes that we posted earlier in the year. You know, updating them, going over some of the newer stuff with them, and that is exactly what we are doing. So we're gonna go with this Trey White Flex today. Show some new setups. Show, reiterate how to you know run it. I know a lot of you guys. I always get questions to do schemes that I, I have done earlier in the year, and this is a good situation for you guys to learn the scheme because, again, there are a lot of new viewers. Certain viewers don't see every single video, and that is the case we are in. So we're going to go over the Trey White Flex. I'm in the Chargers playbook right now. I like the Chargers playbook for this formation personally the best probably. But it is, of course, in some other playbooks like New Orleans, like at Green Bay, just a lot of playbooks, Raiders, just a ton of playbooks. Um, not going to name every single one, but going over some of the good plays. And we won't go over every single play, but you got PA crossers, inside zone, SE corners, that's a decent one, levels Y corner, which is your level sale. A couple of RPOs, nah. You got dagger, uh, levels out, good play. You have a read option and vertical. So we're going to go over these four plays. Mainly, I might throw in the SC corner there as well. I do like that play. But these four plays, not really using any abilities. Just rocking with the standard team. And I'm going to show some good but effective setups that you can definitely mix in if this formation is in your respective playbook. All right, so getting out on the field, we're actually going to start out with that SC corner play. And with this play, you have two corner routes, uh, and we're going to pretty much work around those with Higby and Van Jefferson, kind of work around with these three guys, Akers, Cop, and OBJ. So mainly we, we, we like this route with Van Jefferson just because it's a route that you can't really get anywhere else in the playbook now. Also, of course, if you have certain abilities, you can definitely build around these plays potentially better than I do. If you have Hot Route Master, Wide Receiver Apprentice, Backfield Masters of the World, you can definitely create some more things so these are just going to be some basic setups that of course you can add to now what i like to do generally is going to be a little streak action you want at least one clear out route generally to kind of open things up and for our first setup we'll just do something like this just a couple of our routes you have your two corners a little streak and then just a little in route and then acres is route so we're just going to kind of run this first read of course is going to kind of be cam acres out of the backfield Easy read, easy completions all day, pretty much. So there's that. You can also smart out A, try and get them a little bit shorter. And if I want to, of course, we can kind of streak OBJ and then maybe put Cup on his route. Little drags, just different things that you can do. And you see how it just opens up Van Jefferson deep down the field. He's a pretty deep corner route. So he can definitely get over some of those deeper zone drops that you might be playing up against. But of course, he still does get open if it is Cup. But yeah, just a basic setup that you can go with. Again, I like the way that this in route from the outside kind of develops. So that's usually why we will throw Odell on that route. But again, doesn't really have too huge of an effect. Some other things you can do maybe are go with a little smoke screen. Just create different things. Uh, maybe we go with an in route to the inside now. Just different things like this. And maybe the in route's not the best idea if you throw obj on that smoke screen but just different ideas like this again i don't run this play too often but there's a couple of setups for you now we're going to get into dagger dagger is probably your main play of the offense start out just showing it stock a little bit you have a drag crosser so you have some different things really to throw now there is one kind of weakness to this offense it's mainly going to be the fact that you actually can't max protect so you are going against people bringing pressure you can only block these six the tight end is not in a position to block but can definitely still be solid here you see the crosser it is a little bit tough in this scenario where you don't have a clear out on that left side and we'll address that issue with our next setup but this is one of the good quick snap setups in the game the crosser still of course can get over certain zones but just a good quick snap play you can kind of throw it earlier fit it in certain windows and uh yeah man it's just a pretty good play one of my favorite ways to do it is to kind of keep everything the same, but actually motion over this streak with Cooper Cup. And you can actually turn him into a fade route so you get a little bit of a better, uh, a little bit of a smoother motion snap. If you didn't know, you can actually get better motion snaps if you throw Cooper Cup on, for example, like a fade route. He won't have to stop and then run up with his streak the way that he does. So now he's on a fade. You see, you snap it. He's just going to run straight up the field. It seems like a little bit faster. 
So now you can throw this crosser on the sideline, get open against stock coverage. Again, if he is using zone drops, the clear out won't really have too big of an effect on anything other than the outside thirds. But um, going back to the stock setup, what you can do with the stock and with the other motion over streak setup, what you can do is throw acres on this little out route. That's something that I certainly like to do. Uh, throw them on a little out route. What this does just gives you another option, just pulls zones down as well. Easy throws. Really, you might as well just send the running back out on routes this year. This seems like the five-man protection will work for a lot of the time, the same as the six-man protection. Now, of course, we do have this backside dig with OBJ as well, which is something that we haven't really thrown. It's definitely going to be better without hook curls or mid-reads, so against the CPU coverage, it's not going to be as good as you know it might be in game where people are going to be using let's say they're using Deion jones they're going to go the crosser you can throw that backside in route a lot more uh so yeah as far as that's concerned if you don't really want the the in route you can throw obj on a little out route and still have success so if i want the out route it's there all day against cover three especially if you keep that streak in the middle of the field or in this spot so there's just a lot that you can do moving on to some of the other setups that you can go with you can go ahead, go with like a little slant combo, so we can kind of create something like this. Here's a look, a little slant with A, your tight end, flat Y, and then go ahead, streak Odell, and you can actually motion him across. Again, we can put acres on this. If you have backfield mass, you can throw acres on a little flat as well, but just a nice little combo. Gives us kind of uh, an easy read. Is he gonna follow the slant? You'll throw the crosser. If he's going to follow the crosser, you can throw the slant. Of course, at any time, you can throw your checkdowns to either Cooper Cup or Cam Akers out of the backfield. So, of course, get a better tight end. Higby's not the best, but he will do. And again, early, we can kind of throw these flat routes, pick up some easy yards with Akers and Cup right in that spot. Some other things you can maybe do are like hitch A, and you can really do anything with A. If you don't like having the drag, you can put him on a little flat route. You can go ahead, put him on a little hitch, put him on a zig, put him on an, you know, a streak. You could just streak him, and then maybe with cop, you drag him. Do something like this. You can really do a lot with this play. It just depends on the personal preference. Um, but yeah, man, there's really a lot to do. Generally, build around the crosser and the in route, but as we've seen, you can even audible out of those as well. So you're not necessarily limited to anything which I think is, of course, going to be pretty nice in this offense. So moving on to the inside zone, though, this is a very balanced formation. You're going to mix in, in the, the run and the pass a heavy amount. I do think that is pretty important to mix in the run, mix in the pass, just a good, a decent amount so that your opponent is not too committed to the pass. Of course, if they are in those formations like 2-4-5 odd, it's going to be favorable for you to run the ball. And it's going to be difficult for your opponent to go to things like dollar when you're running the inside zone 20 times a game, which, again, you can easily go past 20 times, run 20 times in this offense. It's not necessarily a ton of deep one-play touchdown bombs. Whoever 63 is is terrible. Austin Corbett, he's refusing to stick on a double team instead of just decides to like run into me every time. But you can see this run really, really good. Just stock. You can do different things to confuse the opponent as well. Some of those things include using, utilizing certain motions. So for a lot of the pass plays, we motion over cup. Now we run this with a little in motion and he thinks it's a pass, moves his user off. Things like that can definitely be confusing. If you have a mobile quarterback, if you're using a Derrick Henry, a Jalen Hurts, or a Kyler Murray, whoever you have, Tebow, you can definitely run the read option instead. Just in this case, we're using Matt Stafford. Um, no reason to run a read option with Matt Stafford. He's never going to pick up anything more than three yards on a QB keeper. But if you're using Derrick Henry, the read option might be a little bit better. Um, and again, if you want to roll out and throw those crossers, they can also be better. But again, we're using Stafford in this example, so it's not going to be the best for us. But yeah, man, just here's the inside zone. You see, we're picking up pretty, pretty good yardage on a pretty consistent basis. So you can see it really is pretty dang good, in my personal opinion. I you definitely put in some work with it. Um, and again, stay balanced. Even if the run's not working, you want to stick with it a little bit. And you should have pretty good success eventually. But even if you don't, those three-yard carries do add up. They help you 
in your second down passes. So keep running the ball. I know sometimes I, sometimes you guys probably just get stuck where you're throwing the ball a lot. You're kind of also forming route combinations in your head before the play even starts and you're just thinking of different things, kind of moving at almost three plays and in advance at sometimes. And that can definitely be tough, but it is important to stick with the run. And those are what some of the best players in this game do. So moving on, I got the levels wide corner. This is a good play. What I like to do generally is just shriek Y as your basic setup. One of the better quick snap plays again. Um, some people consider this formation more almost like a bot formation just because of the fact that a lot of lower level players just kind of run level sail. Uh, so you do see that. Trust me, if you run it at a high level, they won't be thinking that. But just a really easy couple plays, dagger and the level's wide corner. Just some de easy reads for you guys that you can definitely do. A lot of good quick snap plays as well. If your opponent is adjusting a lot, these are some good, good, good ways to catch them off guard. Just gives you easy, simple reads. You don't have to read side to side. You make a decision based upon the user. The user follows the flat, you immediately know you're going to have Van Jefferson or Odo Beckham Jr. If he follows the corner out, you can throw the flat. If he throws the flat, you can throw the corner out. Just different things. And it just makes it really easy on yourself. And then you throw in the fact that you can kind of quick snap these, which is one of the most annoying things if you're actually defending this play. You guys know what I'm talking about. But really good play. Again, there's not a whole lot of setups for this play that you have, but you can do some, some of the basic things like little curl combos. One thing I've done in the past is create one of my favorite spacing combinations, which is going to be like this. Uh, Smoke Tree Nodell, Hitch Cup, Curl Van Jefferson. You can also smart route that corner out again with Higby. But this setup, a little basic stuff. Snap the ball, and this is really good spacing. One of these guys is always going to be open, either the curl, the hitch, or the smoke screen. It doesn't matter the coverage. If it's a match, if it's cover two, if it's cover three, one of those guys is always going to be open. And if he's going to use her one of them, that's when you open up these guys easy. So you can go with different things with acres if you want. You can go wheel route instead and check it down to cam acres right there. You can easily do that. So... Just overall creating simple reads, simple combinations, easy spacing stuff. Again, of course, if we wanted to, what we could do is maybe we go with like one of these combinations, a little motion over slant, just weird stuff like this could work. Um, that wouldn't be my first combination, but you can always throw in different stuff. If some of these plays aren't working, you can definitely mix in um, different things and they will probably work for you. All right, that's going to take us to our next and final play, which is going to be the levels out. One of the more interesting plays, if you take a look here, we have one of these deeper crossing routes that's really good in this year's game, and it's going to be one of the routes that you see in verticals, just at different types of plays. Kind of difficult to understand, but this route with Van Jefferson is going to be really good deep down the field, so you can do different things with this play. Now, one, two routes we kind of like that I like to keep the same are going to be... Cooper Cup and Odell Beckham Jr. I really like this high-low combination with a little smoke screen and a this deeper out route that it gives you. Those are two routes I like to keep the same. As far as some other things you could do, we can go with like this. I don't really like having the corner out and this deep over route together because you see what happens is the guy's just over there. Two routes kind of run into the same area, so we want to switch that up. Now, you can do different things. I will generally just go with the streak. We'll just... Clear Higby out, get him out of the way, get that streak in here. And now you have a couple of different things. What do we do with Acres? Well, we could do a little option route. We could go a little out route. We could go wheels. We could do different things. Um, there's not really a wrong answer. You can also block him. Uh, so you can really just do different things. But this is an example of him getting down the field. And you notice that the hook curl actually matches with him in this scenario. Generally not going to happen online. So there will be no linebacker kind of following him around if that makes any sense at all pretty much will be wide open with the streak so again i will generally clear out higby if we want if i'm a rollout guy if i'm a rollout type of player i know his user might follow cup whatever the case may be we can create a little chop block action if i've kyler murray we're rolling out easily throwing that down the field and again kind of pretend like a lolican is not following us because a lot of times that'll be the user or People just don't usually leave hook curls out generally in this game. And a lot of times, if he is kind of matching, what do you do? 
You throw a little option route out and that should pretty much, I would hope this would solve it. It actually doesn't, so if that doesn't happen, throw it to Acres. If you notice that's still not happening, I would probably throw them on a little inside route, which is probably a little bit better. So easily go with something like this as I'm in the incorrect play. But something like this could definitely be good. Check it down. And again, with Acres, it's tough to kind of throw them to that side because you do have the combination. Well, let's actually focus in on that, that side a little bit more. But again, you can just do different things. And here you see just Cop getting wide open. I feel like it's a little bit more clear when it's an out route rather than a corner route. And if I really wanted to, what I could actually do with this, something that's pretty good, is you can actually smart route these option routes to get them really deep down the field. Because Van Jefferson is so deep down the field, we can actually kind of utilize this. And really, if I wanted to, I could also even drag Odell and run this combination, which could be solid. But we like to keep him over there, create some stuff on... An example of everything down the field, you see how deep Acres goes 15 yards about. So it can be pretty good. We can actually leave him on his stock route. I think he'll just run a little bit of a deeper option, but not to where it's super deep. We'll try it out against cover three, see what he does. If it's man coverage, I believe he goes inside, but he actually goes to a pretty good spot. Pretty much the standard option route. And again, I should switch coverages just so you can see Van Jefferson. Of course, if this is man coverage, he's going to toast him as you might expect but as far as some of the other things you can do again you can run setups like this streak drag a little wheel route just different stuff check it down to odell and you see just how much space we have against the sock coverage a little moves there but again just really build around of course if you have some other abilities you can help out but yeah man it's pretty much gonna do with the video if you enjoyed drop a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel down below and peace i'm out of here